from the Aruli Splats app, there's a new type of block that you can use to make games. This is the list block. The list block is exactly what it sounds like. These blocks allow you to store a sequence of blocks in a variable. This can come in handy to manage complex code. But first we're going to need a variable. So why don't we create one? We'll call this set color. Perfect. Let's grab our starting code and grab our variable. And now we're able to set our list. Let's go to our list and create a list with here. Now we want this list in order to take colors. So why don't we choose a few colors? Let's see, I'm going to go to lights and grab green and then I'll grab another one. And why not one more? You know, I think I want one more color. If you go to this gear icon, you can add one more item to the list. Perfect. I can close it out and I'm just going to grab one more green. You can already tell that green's my favorite color. But let's change up these colors. Why don't we do blue and maybe red? And just because to be unruly, why don't we choose pink? Perfect. We're almost done. Okay. So why don't we grab our new uh, one more thing inside the lights? We want it to make sure that it lights the color that we want it to be. So we'll grab our light splat one with color. Well, we can't do color green, can we? Because it will only just color it green. That's where we go to where the list blocks. In the bliss blocks, you want to grab this right here. This in list will allow you to access your variable. So now I can grab here and change this to set color. Now we'll get the list and why don't we make sure that it turns random. If you drop, hit this drop down, you'll be given different sets from first, last, and random. I'm going to choose random. Okay. Let's hit run and see what it does. Well, it looks like it's changing the colors as I'm pressing it. And more of this can be done and it makes the things a lot more simpler. This is definitely going to come in handy when I want to make games like Simon. 